beautiful people welcome back to another youtube tutorial all right so this video is going to be based on a straight cut pants with a little bit of style on the base of the trouser um i saw this style on pinterest and i liked it i decided to make one and then show you guys how i achieved the look all right so these are the body blocks i'm going to be using for my straight cut pants and this is the fabric i'll be using so firstly, we will be tracking down one and a half inch on the waist point. Do you guys remember we do this for shipping allowance? So after tracking down my one and a half inch, the next thing for us to do is to take points, the waist point, hip point, crotch point, your new point, and then the base of your trouser, which is the length. If you've watched the previous video I uploaded, you should know that this is the same routine I do whenever I want to cut my trouser be it palazzo boot cut shorts this is the same procedure so you should be able to do this by now if you have been following my videos and if you have not please go and watch them so now i'm done taking points i'm going to be chucking this same point on the middle of the fabric too so that i could use my ruler and then connect to get a straight line before breaking down my round measurements and then chucking them on each point <laughs> I'm done connecting the, those lines to get a straight line um, I'll go ahead now to divide my round measurements and then chuck them down on various points I'm going to be starting with my round waist after my round waist then I'll be going down to my round hip to then to the my round lap that's where my crotch point is that is where the round lap sits on and then I will move over to the round knee I'll chuck that down on the new point then I move over to the last, uh, but not the least, the base of the trouser. I also went ahead to write down the instructions or steps on the screen. So while you watch, you can also read to follow up. <laughs> chucking down my round measurement on each point so i'll be going ahead now to use my ruler and my chalk to connect all points together from the waist to the hip from the hip to where the crotch point is that's where your round lap sits on so once all that is done i will go ahead now to measure out the total number i have sitting on the crotch point and then whatever number i get i'll be dividing that number into two Alright, so after dividing that number into two, I'll be checking down the, the, that number, that particular number. After dividing into two, I'll be checking down that number on the new points. This is the midpoint of the trouser. So I'll be checking it down on the new point and then also on the base of the trouser. <laughs> getting the midpoint of the trouser and then chucking it down on the new point and also on the base of the trouser the next thing for us to do is to divide the round knee by four so assuming i divide my round knee by four and i get two i'll be chucking that side by side from the midpoint from my midpoint i take my tape from this side two and then this other side two which is four on the same line i hope you get the gist Alright, so once that is done, I'll be moving down to the base of the trouser to do the same thing. Chuck down the midpoint and then divide the round base and chuck it side by side from the midpoint. Okay guys, to achieve this particular trouser, 
if you know you want the pleats at the base of your trouser i advise you to cut out excess of your length if your length is 45 on the normal you cut out 60 inches because you'll be pleating the base of your trouser and then you need that excess to pleat with <laughs> together from the waist points straight to the base i'll be going in with my scissors cut out this piece out this is the front piece of your trouser you guys so yeah after this is done we'll be folding a fresh fabric for the back piece of this trouser so stay tuned <laughs> fabric for the next piece that's our back piece you guys remember i always say fold out excess when folding out your back piece a fresh fabric for your back piece fold out excess because we will be placing the front piece on this back piece this fresh fabric and then just chucking down one and a half inch on all measurements so from the waist point straight to the base we'll be adding one and a half inch on all measurements and then tracing that out that is our back piece. I always tell you that once you want to make a trouser and you're able to get your front piece, you guys, getting a back piece is simple. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you really like the video. And also share with family and friends. You guys, please help me share this video with your friends and family. And subscribe. Subscribe to my channel so you get notification whenever I post a new video. So yeah, moving I'll be going in with my ruler and chalk to connect these lines together as you can see on the screen uh, and then once that is done I'll go in with my scissors to cut out this piece this is the back piece of the trouser you guys yeah always remember to chalk down your measurement on the wrong side of the fabric I cannot stop emphasizing on that you guys you always sew on the wrong side of the fabric you always chalk down your measurement on the wrong side of the fabric so once you're able to do that to differentiate this I always go ahead to you know chalk down right b1 and b2 on the wrong side of my fabric so that whenever i'm joining i know i, I label them because whenever i'm joining i want to know which piece i'm joining to which piece yeah so to make my work easier i always label them out <laughs>
finish up this trouser so we'll go straight to the plinting if you want to see how i attach my band to this trouser and how i attach the zip to please go watch my previous video click on the previous video to watch on how i attach band to the palazzo and boot cut. so moving on so yeah i'm done joining this see on the screen this trouser is already finished i'm going to go ahead now to plint the base of the trouser so before doing that i'll be measuring out my the length of my trouser first on the normal the length of the trouser i wear is 42 45 let's say 45 so after getting that 42 or 45 whichever you want to use i'm going to now go ahead and use the ss meaning to pleat the ss is what i'm going to be pleating with that's what i'm going to be working with as my pleat so yeah <music> my pants is ready for me to slay thank you guys for watching this video from the beginning to the end for those subscribed to my channel thank you for those sharing this video i really do appreciate you all thank you a lot yeah please do let me know in the comment section below if you like this video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to do that and also please let me know if these videos are really detailed enough for you or if there's anything you want me to do Thank you so much. I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye.